see the third quadrant the position of the object in the third quadrant by considering the two planes that is horizontal and vertical now when the object is kept over here that is in the third quadrant so now we will we can able to uh, say easily that the object which is kept in the third quadrant is below the horizontal plane this, this is the horizontal plane the object is kept in the third quadrant that is in the downward direction this direction so the hori the uh, object is kept below the horizontal plane and behind it is a vertical plane and object is kept behind the vertical plane and last in the fourth quadrant when the object is kept over here in the fourth quadrant at that time the position of the object is said to be as below the horizontal plane this object is kept below the horizontal plane and in front of the vertical plane is behind so behind the object so the position of the object is said to be as in front of vertical plane so we have to study or we have to know the concept of the position of the object in the different quadrants that is first right the first one the above horizontal plane above the horizontal plane and in front of vertical plane in the second quadrant above the horizontal plane and it is behind so behind the vertical plane so behind vertical plane in the third quadrant below the horizontal plane and behind the vertical plane and the last in the fourth quadrant it is uh, below the it is below the horizontal plane and in front of vertical plane right now this degree which is shown sorry this degree right it is 90 degree now this planes will move in the angular direction of 90 only remember well this degree is 90 degree now the plane will move for example consider that this xy right uh, which differs the, the xy line or the reference line which differs the horizontal plane and vertical plane is made up of hinges now by using the hinges the vertical plane and horizontal plane will move in the degree of or rotate in the degree of 90 now when the object will uh, move in uh, sorry when the plane will move in the 90 degree for example in the first quadrant right now when uh, when the object will uh, when the vertical plane will move in the 90 degree in the clockwise direction only it will move in clockwise direction only so the image which is projected in the horizontal plane will come below the be below the xy line right when the object is kept and the image formed image projected on the horizontal plane now the horizontal plane will move 90 degree in the clockwise direction so this horizontal plane which will come in the downward direction the project with uh, the image will be which is projected on this horizontal plane will become below the xy line. it will become below the xy line okay in this uh, in same the procedure of this uh, rotation of the plane are same in all the quadrants now we'll see the further slide okay it is written that the vertical plane as we had seen earlier it is used for the projection of front view of the object next one is a horizontal plane it is used for the projection of the top view an auxiliary plane it is used for the projection of the left and right hand side of the view right now we had seen the vertical plane and horizontal plane right in the uh, uh, and what is the meaning of this auxiliary planes auxiliary plane means the plane which is in the right hand side or the 90 degree to the vertical and horizontal is known as the auxiliary plane now as we had seen in the before slides before slide that the when the image of an object formed on the horizontal plane right that image will be the top view right and the image will be which projected on the vertical plane that projected image is said to be as front view now when we uh, if you want the different remaining views like the left hand side view and right hand side view the left hand side view and right hand side view images is projected on the auxiliary plane the auxiliary plane is the one type of plane imagined plane right in which 
the left uh, different view that is left hand side view and right hand side view images is possible to draw the projection of the uh, projected image of the left hand side view and right hand side view is possible as we can see in this figure it is the object which is to be projected right now we will consider this direction as the viewing direction right uh, now an observer is viewing from this direction that is front right the viewing direction will always as a front view now when we see the object which is to be projected in this direction so the rays of projection will be projected on the vertical plane as we can see in this dotted line so the rays of projection which is projected on from this object and it is immersed on the vertical plane and the object with the uh, projected image will form in the vertical plane this is the a projected image which formed which is the same as when we see from the front view right as we can see that this object this base right we can able to see this base from the front view same so uh, by using the projection lines we can able to match this or it is imagined object in the vertical plane same from the front view this gap is not observed we cannot able to see this gap from the front view direct this line of the object and this line of the top base right it will immerse with each other will come together with each other so this line will immerse with each other then after we can able to see this vertical line so it is a vertical line which is formed by using the projection rays then this line and this inclined lines so up to this uh, imaginations it is projected on the imaginary plane which is over here as a vertical plane now when an observer observes the object in the from the top view from here if we see from top uh, from uh, topward direction or the upward direction at that time the image which is projected on the plane is said to be as the horizontal plane now in the horizontal plane the top view of an object is projected when we see from the top direction uh, the uh, rays of projections will immerse on the horizontal plane these dotted lines are said to be as the rays of projection as we can see in the figure now from the rays of projections the projected image will made in the horizontal direction so as we can see first of all uh, by viewing from the top we can imagine that we, we can able to observe this square right this square so this square is imagined over here then this line this line and the uh, this line of the square will immerse with each other so it will be the single line right then after we can able to see this rectangular portion this rectangle this whole portion from the top right so this rectangular portion is imagined by using the projected lines this whole rectangular portion right then after this inclined lines as we can see in this 3d portion uh, 3d position of the object this inclined line when we see from the top it will be the rectangular form so this rectangular form is converted by using the lines of projections by using the lines for projection by matching the different lines for projections right the image formed on the ho uh, horizontal plane of this top view will be the rectangle right so as we have studied this vertical plane that is the front the uh, the projected image of the uh, front view then the top uh, top view which is the projected image which made on the horizontal plane now we will see the auxiliary vertical plane this avp is said to be as an auxiliary vertical plane now when the viewer will observe the uh, 3d object <coughs> or the object to be projected from left hand side to right hand side or in the right hand side direction this is the right hand side direction and the plane uh, and the rays of projection will immerse on the auxiliary vertical plane so as we can see that the 
the right hand side direction object is immersed on the plane that is AVP and the same when we see from here we can able to see this uh, rectangular base it is a rectangular base but right that we can able to see from the right hand direction so the form from the rays of the projection it is immersed on this right hand side direction plane that is auxiliary vertical plane right then after uh, moving further in the upward direction this inclined plane which we can able to see in the 3d position of this object when we see the when we immerse or when we slope the projected lines from these edges of the object the object which is seen or object which is made in the auxiliary vertical plane will become for a rectangular direct it will become rectangle as we can see in this image right now this it is the uh, study of the auxiliary vertical plane now but in the paper when we have to draw the orthographic projection this type of imaginations or this type of drawing is not possible to draw in the paper so as we had seen studied further uh, as before sorry the vertical plane and horizontal right there is vertical plane which is the uh, image form of the imagination form imagination imagination of the object form in the front view is kept as it is because it is in the vertical direction but this horizontal plane this horizontal plane is rotated 90 degree in the clockwise direction so this plane will rotate at 90 degree so the, uh, this horizontal plane which will also come in the same plane that is will also in the vertical will come also in the vertical direction same this auxiliary plane as we can see in the figure this auxiliary plane will also rotate in this direction so the auxiliary plane will open and will come in the same side of the vertical plane as we can see in this figure this portion of the figure it is a vertical plane which is kept as it is right which is kept as it is now the horizontal plane right which refers to this this is said to be a reference line which refers to this reference line it is rotated 90 degree in the downward direction here in this figure we can see that this line this dotted line is the reference line right so uh, the vertical plane and horizontal plane will come in the same uh, same direction this is the vertical plane portion of this vertical plane and this downward portion is the portion of the horizontal plane so when we rotate the horizontal plane in 90 degree downward direction so it will come below the vertical plane same in the auxiliary vertical plane where we when we rotate in the 90 degree direction it will come in uh, in place means is same as the vertical plane this is a vertical plane when we move in the 90 degree direction they will it will become the auxiliary plane right okay now how we can able to draw this type of image this type of orthographic project this is said to be as the orthographic projection that you have to draw in the paper in the page right so to draw the orthographic projection first of all we have to draw the front view on the vertical plane so it is very much simple by viewing in this direction and the dimensions also were given right it is just the conceptual view when we see in the front direction at that time we by using the dimensions we can able to draw this type of front view by considering the dimensions proper dimension now after the front view we have to draw the different views that is top view which is in the horizontal plane and the right hand side view okay now the uh, top view and right hand side view is possible by uh, to draw the top view and right hand side view is possible only by using the projected lines these dotted lines which we can see in this figure are known as the projection lines or the rays of projections now in all the edges of the vertical plane we have to draw the projection lines as we can see this edge and the other edges are same so the same line from this line one projected line is drawn 
then after by using now next one is this edge right from this edge or from this corner the projected dotted line is drawn now as we go further i will we will get this image sorry this uh, corner edge from this edge draw draw the projected line and the last in this edge draw the projected line okay now from this images we can able to draw by using the dimensions mind well the dimensions are given and it will be drawn easily for example the particular dimensions of this this line then this line are also given uh, all the dimensions are given so by using the dimensions by using the projection lines the proper top view is drawn on the can can able to draw in the horizontal plane now after the horizon drawing the uh, top view in the horizontal plane we have to draw the auxiliary view that is here the right hand side view to draw the right hand side view from the xy line this dotted line is said to be as reference line and xy line from the xy line at some at any particular point at the same distance right this vertical line is true to differ the different views now in the same point in a particular point draw the horizontal uh, inclined line or the oblique line of 45 degree if this degree the angle of this line is fixed that is 45 degree then after from this and uh, then after draw the projection lines of from the top view as we had drawn the projected line from the front view draw, draw the projected line from the top view as you can see the image formed or the object formed in the starting this is the starting line of the top view so the from the edges the, the uh, edges of all these lines are same so this is the projected line which is formed from the horizontal uh, from the top view in the horizontal plane then after when we see further this image right before before this image in between there is no any edges right so in the next edge uh, draw the horizontal line but the condition is we have to draw the horizontal line up to the 45 degree line so right uh, we have to draw the projected line of horizontal direction up to the 45 degree line only then after by using the other image other edge uh, this is the different age, uh, another edge so draw the horizontal line uh, horizontal projection line up to the 45 degree okay now 